Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Learn in a Nutshell. So let's continue with our little learning what we're doing about Azure, Azure portal. In the last videos, last few videos, we talked about function apps. Uh, we saw how to, you know, um, deploy the function app from VS Code, how to um, test the function app locally, how to send a mail uh, in function app uh, and how to install the node modules. If you have not checked that out, you can definitely check that. Uh, in my uh, previous videos, I put it there. So in this video, we'll talk about services, uh, service bus. In uh, today's video and next few videos, uh, we'll see uh, about service bus. So start to start with uh, in today's video, let's uh, quickly see how to create a service bus, and uh, and uh, in later on, let's see different things in service bus like how we can send out a message to service bus via postman and then followed by how to connect a function app with a service bus we'll see all those things in the coming videos so also yeah in today's video let's see how to create a, a service bus and what it can be used for so yeah so first thing is you'll have to go to azure portal uh, once you go to azure portal if you are able to see it here in azure services uh, if you're able to see service bus you can definitely click that or else you can search for service bus uh, something like this and you should see service bus over here or the other thing which you can do is we can go from the left hand side also uh, you can go to all services and here also you can look for service bus so these are all the services that's available um, from Azure so you can do a lot of things with azure uh, in today's video it's only about service bus so yeah let's search for service bus and uh, click on service bus so as soon as you click uh, you get option to create it so let's go and click create and of course it will be free trial uh, if you have a resource group previously created you can use that or you can create a new one uh, i'll just use default resource group so this will be useful you know if you have multiple services which you are using and if you want to uh, connect with one service bus uh, sorry one resource group it will be very useful for maintaining uh, for controlling uh, everything uh, for different environments maybe uh, on an environment basis you can create a resource group so apart from that uh, you'll have to give the name over here uh, let me give demo one two three four something like this one two three two one i've given you can choose any location which is close to you or based on the project requirement and pricing tier i'll just choose basic uh, let me not go with a premium one as you know uh, i have a limited budget of fifteen thousand it's for one month so let's use uh, pricing tier as basic next i can keep it a uh, default on order of doing anything and can come to review plus create and once create comes up you can click on create so you can see in the notification what's happening and uh, once it is you know created you should see deployment successful so currently it's deployment is in progress so let it complete and we'll come back so if you see the deployment is complete now from here you can click on go to resources and here you should see all the details so this is the url uh, the host name for uh, the service bus what you have created you can see the resource group and the subscription is free trial and uh, next thing what we need to do is go to queues this is where everything happens go to queues and uh, you can create a queue so basically what is a queue uh, queue is uh, you know just to receive messages and based on that message you can connect it to your function app or anywhere else any apis if you have you can connect it connect it to that and you know uh, process whatever you want to do with this message if you want to store it in a database you can do that so why we are using queue uh, we are using queue 
uh, no suppose on your website if you have a large traffic and you have to do some kind of update and you don't want to miss out anything uh, you don't want to uh, you know miss out any updates that you want to do if you want to log something so in that uh, you know during that time you can just send out uh, a message over here and that message can be received uh, in anything um, maybe in in this azure case we can connect it to a function app and function app can pro process that message and store it to your database so that way all the messages will be you know processed one after the other uh, based on whatever how many numbers of uh, messages are here so i'll quickly show what is that uh, let's give the queue name as again demo i hope or let's give first queue first queue and then let's keep everything as is and click on create it should be quick to, uh, it should not take much time so queue is created and uh, now we can enter this queue and uh, so this is the overall uh, overview of for this queue so this is the queue url and if you want to disable or enable you can click here and based on that you can disable it or you can disable send disable or receive disable so as of now not not going to do anything with that now let's go to service bus so here is where you'll see all the queue i mean number of messages that you have received uh, in this particular uh, section you'll see the number of messages you have received can go to receive mode and uh, click on receive and based on uh, how many numbers of message you want to see you can provide numbers here and uh, you can view the message what it has uh, received and uh, this message is what you have done, what you have received uh, and if you have connected it something and if that doesn't happen uh, finally after uh, you know many retries it will go to dead letter and it will sit there so let's quickly send one message from here itself click on send uh, i can select the content type as application application J can select the content type as application uh, json let's give uh, json object uh, key value pair let's give name give the value as uh, learn in a nutshell and uh, let's give something called as type and give youtube channel so in now what you can do is click on send so once you click on send you should see the count getting incremented here so q count has come to 1 now what you can do is initially it will be in peak mode uh, you can do peak from start so you can see the message and based on uh, you know the next message you can click peak next message so or else if you can go to receive mode click on receive and how many numbers of message you want to view you can view all that together as of now there is only one let's give receive and you will see one message coming up here so there is a message which i have sent and if you quickly go and send something else let's copy from here let's give application json uh, let's give it as yt and i guess that's sufficient let's click on send and there are two messages now go to receive mode click on receive there is peak lock and receive and delete so receive and delete will uh, delete the message as soon as it's you know uh, displayed here next time you won't be able to see that message so peak lock let's keep it to peak lock and click receive oh, i have given just one message so probably you can just receive uh, once if you receive uh, click on receive again it will say has no messages received no additional messages were received uh, in that case you can go to peak mode and click on peak from start you can see all the messages here and uh, if you go to receive mode and 
click on receive let's click on receive and delete let's see what happens so all the messages messages will be shown here see this is the first message and this is the second message and if you see the count now it's zero so now if you go to peak mode and click on peak from start it will show has no messages peaked so nothing to show here so it's gone so so that's how you know you work with the uh, queue how to get started with uh, you know uh, service bus in azure hope this helps in the next video let's see how to send a message here from postman um and see if that works uh, and uh, in the following videos we'll see how to connect with the uh, function app and um, display the message there so yeah uh, if you like the video please do the like button uh, subscribe comment let's catch again next video guys until then see you bye